Church needs to get its growl. It's roar. Well, you know, some, of, some of you, you, know, you, you don't know about this. I don't blame you. We are, I, I, sometimes I'm always kind of l- crazy, but sometimes I cross over into real crazy. <laughs> it's just liberating sometimes to let it out and say, I'm not just crazy, I'm crazy, crazy. <laughs> some of you don't know what's in you. You think I'm just trying to stir you up and get a response. You, if you are born again, Holy Spirit of God lives in you. Everything He is, He is in you. In the book of Acts, the deacons, the deacons, not the apostles, the deacons started healing the sick and being translated supernaturally in other regions to preach the gospel and then translate it home. And when Philip went to Samaria, and I have trouble sometimes believing this myself, but it's in the Bible. When he went to Samaria, it says, many, many who were paralyzed, not one. If one person in this room that was paralyzed today got up and ran around this room healing the supernatural power of God, we would never forget it. We would write to our friends and our families. Somebody probably put it on TV or some magazine. And it says, many people that were paralyzed were healed by a deacon. So you think you're misfits, but you're not a misfit. You're born again misfit. That makes you a former misfit that is now being transformed into a huios voice of God in the earth. And when we show up, it's supposed to be like Paul. When the demon said, Jesus, I know. Well, I don't don't, don't struggle with that a bit. Paul, I know. You need to determine that you're going to be the type of believer that when you get up in the morning, hell knows you got up. You need to be the type of believer that they become intimidated when you're present. All Paul had to do was go into a region and the spiritual atmosphere started going crazy with warfare. But God is no respecter of persons and he doesn't love Paul any more than he loves you. It's based not upon your name or calling. It's based on your revelation. Let me say that again. It's not based on your name. It's not based on your calling. It is based upon your revelation. Philip was not an apostle, but he had a revelation of the same thing the apostles were carrying. And he says, it's not just them, and I don't have that calling, but I do have that anointing. I do not have the same assignment, but I do carry the same spirit, and I have the same name, and I serve the same God, and I'm an heir of the same Jesus, and a joint heir of the same Father, and I'm filled with the same Holy Spirit. Therefore, I say to you, be healed in Jesus' name. And it worked just as well for Philip as it did for Paul. And this man shouldn't be able to heal any better than you can heal. I'm not correcting or rebuking you. I'm trying to tell you, you are not a misfit in a cave. Your assignment in life as a member of the kingdom of God is not just to support somebody else that does it. You are a Benaiah. You are an Adino. You're an Eleazar. You're one of the mighty men and women looking for some place to fight.
one of my mentors, one of the greatest men that ever walked the earth as far as I'm concerned, Wayne Myers. He used to say it, and when he would say it, he would just think, my God, he believes this. He'd say, I hate all hell, and all hell hates me. what he used to say I hate all hell and all hell hates me he walked into a house in Mexico they were trying to cast out a demon once he walked in the back door nobody could see him they'd call somebody called him and said we need your help he came in the back door they were in another part of the house as soon as the door opened and he walked in the demon spoke to the person and says oh no not him That's what they're going to say when you show up. One of the carriers of the name is here. One of the representatives of Yahweh and His Son is here. Holy Spirit is here. And then they're going to look over your shoulder and they're going to say, angels are here too. And I know this is sensationalistic and I know this is oh come on tell me one thing I've said to you it's not biblical tell me one thing I've said to you it's not the Bible we are intercessors we connect people and places to God I just want to say that again We are intercessors. We connect people and places to God. We are not just religious. God, oh, Father, how looking, Father, and give me 15, amen. We are not just going through the motions, we are the real deal. We are priests. We represent the high priest. We meet the mediator mediates through us. I don't know if you got that or not. I need to get over here into this situation. I need you, he says, to get me in that situation. I want to do something here. I need you to take me there. We connect people and places to God. We petition, but we are also kingly in our intercession. We make decrees. Somebody wrote me the other day, well, I, need some, I need some scripture that the New Testament says we can decree. That we don't just petition God. And my response is like, well, if you... Who are you going to bind and loose, God? If you're going to petition this way, you're going to have to bind and loose this way. Some of you are still thinking about that. 